Welcome, welcome back to Why in the Morning, and it, it's Tuesday. It's Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Michelle Lashira. You can find me across all my social media handles. That is at Michelle Ashira. In this particular session, we dive into an interesting conversation when it comes to matters pertaining uh, environmental conservation and also community service uh, through Rotar Rotaract Club. In studio, I'm joined with Lamek Opio, is an environmental conservation champion, humanitarian, youth leader, change maker, and activist uh, from Nairobi, Kenya. Hi, Lamek. Hi, hi. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you for having me. I don't know about the weather on your end, and uh, I just hope you're doing well. So, I'm for the well. is meeting you for the first time, introduce yourself. Thank you so much. My name is Lamek. I'm a student at Kenyatta University. I do environmental science and community development. Other than that, as you've heard, I've worked through my introduction as well. Uh, I do a lot of things in regards to conservation, giving back to the community, mobilizing young people to make a difference in the communities as well. And uh, through this, I've been able to work with different people. Mm -hmm. uh, but in regards to mostly Rotaract and Rotary, it's something that I've, uh, that I've built me over time. Uh, since uh, joining campus, I found something uh, home away from home, whereby we have young people coming together to uh, do something good to the community, young people coming together to make a difference, which really encouraged me and I... I, I I'm here to stay and uh, I'm here to stay as well and I'm here to maybe uh, uh, encourage like-minded individuals to join us and also in regards to conservation, we've done a lot of activities and we are still continuing to do a lot of activities as uh, it's, it's a wake-up call for everyone here and I'm happy to be here today. Thank All right, you. what are you pursuing back in school? I said I do environmental science oh, fantastic. and community because development. Oh, I didn't so get that. so yeah. it's my profession and so passion as well. As it's well. interlinked as well. interlinked. Yeah. So when did you join uh, Rotaract Club? So I joined Rotaract in my second year in campus. Mm -hmm. I think second or first year that was back in around 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. And I joined it out of curiosity uh, because now I was interlinked by a friend of mine. So mm -hmm. basically I told you I love community service. So there was these fine days we were having an event at uh, the Nairobi National Park in regards to conservation. Okay. We were having a cleanup exercise. Then now within the cleanup exercise, we have different groups of people coming together. We have different youths from maybe another campus and the mm -hmm. same. So uh, there's this lady, I think she was from, not I think, she was from Multimedia University. Uh, she invited me for, uh, okay, she told me, okay, the next day was on a Saturday. So on Saturday, we are having an event at uh, there's a certain children's, homes, children's home within Rongai. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are doing a party festival. Imagine you've been told you're doing a party festival. I'm always uh, passionate about your parties. I know how well to cook it. <laughs> okay, so I said, okay, I'm, I'm back to the challenge. I think I can make time, then come tomorrow. Okay. Then, I, then I, I exactly did that. So when I went there for the very first time, I found different groups of people, young people. We have almost, almost 100 of them. And these were from Rotaract clubs. So we have Rotaract Club of Langata, we have Rotaract Club of BMMU, African Nazarene, and all the same. So I was curious, okay. So I, I was just invited. I saw a poster somewhere, something interesting. So okay, so tell me more about this thing. Uh, then she told me, uh, this is Rotaract Club, uh, young people having fun in service. So I asked her, how can I join? Initially, I wanted to join the one for her for institution, which is MMU. Okay. But for me, I was from KU. So she told me, or I asked her, am I in a position maybe to uh, be to, to, to join two? Then she told me, no, you just have to join one. So after that, she linked me up to the Rotary Club of, of Kenyatta University. Then some months later, because we were on holiday, I was able to uh, officially join the club. Yeah. All right. So yeah. for someone who is uh, hearing us mentioning Rotaract Club, Rotaract here, yeah. so tell us what is Rotaract, Rotaract Club all about and what do you guys do in this particular club? Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, I told you, okay, so I, I'll touch a little bit on Rotary. Uh, so Rotaract is a program in Rotary uh, for young people aged around 18 to 35 years. Uh, so basically what we do, it's an international humanitarian based uh, organization or movement of sort. And uh, these young people, uh, as I said, they are, first of all, they are leaders. In yes. Rotaract, we believe that everyone is a leader. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless of where you are from, regardless of your uh, religion, regardless of your status in the community. Second of all, we believe that they are change makers. These people, these are people who are able to go as an extra mile. Uh, we normally have a motto by there, and our motto says service above self, mm. which basically service, identifies service above, service above self, okay. the, the unselfish volunteering uh, action that we normally have on the same. Okay. So these people are people who are ready to volunteer without being paid anything. These are people who are able to uh, go an extra mile to, 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 even though they don't have the much resources that we must say, but the little that we have, mm -hmm. we try to mobilize and do something good to the community. We try to mobilize and make a difference wherever possible. So we, we do a lot of projects as well. 
then mostly uh, we focus more on the sustainable projects. Okay, we do charities as well, but we also uh, focus on the sustainable projects. Like we can identify children's home. There is need for this. Uh, there is need for water. Or can we fundraise? Maybe buy them a tank. They, they, little, little. Are we able? Maybe also they have a structure that needs to be renovated. Are we able to mobilize resources to do the same? Mm -hmm. And and through Rotaract and Rotary, we have different areas of focus. And my best is supporting the environment because I'm an environmentalist, and uh, I was really happy when. Uh, finally, the, the, the concept, okay, the, the theme for supporting environment was introduced into Rotary, mm -hmm. such that all over the world we are able to support uh, uh, environmental related activities, environmental related projects, and environmental related initiatives, which mm -hmm. really makes, uh, makes me happy and makes me also uh, go an extra mile and uh, try to uh, at least call, call out a wake up call for everyone, whether you're in any of the fields, mm -hmm. whether you're in engineering. Mm -hmm. Uh, because normally we say that everyone is an environmentalist, and I, I'll tell you why. Okay. Uh, the fact that you're able to breathe in oxygen that you all enjoy, the fact that you're able to get food, all this comes from the environment. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's just like uh, most of us, I, I think at times we seem to say that uh, maybe environment, there are certain people who are designated or some, certain people who have been tasked to take care of it, mm -hmm. which is very wrong. Uh, we, sh we shouldn't be that way. It, it's, it's all, all it, it belongs us. to all of us, yeah. and we all have a key role to play because yeah. we all depend on it. All right. yeah, so I've sure. noticed something, Lamek. When you're talking, you said, I told you. No, people don't know that we were talking behind the scenes. Oh. <laughs> okay. We'll be like, I told you. Ah, okay. So when it comes to also uh, who is eligible to uh, join uh, yeah. Rotary Club, I know you talked about this also as, as well uh, before we went on air. Probably for someone who's watching this conversation and mm. they would love to be part of this particular club mm -hmm. and they are wondering but mm -hmm. I, I am not in your university but I would love to be part of Rotary Club so who is eligible to be part of you, you guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so who is eligible first I said uh, sorry Nassau, <laughs> Nassau. Uh, so, so, so anyone is eligible yes. provided you have the passion and you have the zeal to give back to the community uh -huh. And I, uh, it, 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 it's based in, we have several Rotary Club within the communities and oh, institutions. Right. So if you're not in KU or if you're not in JQuat or any other institution mm -hmm. and you live in a certain area, let's okay. say for example Westland, mm -hmm. and you'd like to join, you can join. So oh. this is how you can join. Okay. I said maybe uh, you, you can't be introduced for me, maybe you can be introduced by someone. Right. So once you've been introduced by someone, mm -hmm. you're able to be invited. You oh. come and see how we do it. Oh, right. Maybe one or two events or activities. Okay. After you've done with that and you're you still interested, then you, you are taken through a training of which won't take long time. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you're now officially inducted as a Rotaract. That, as simple as that? As simple as that. Then there's you're able no now to serve. charges or anything? The charges, no. Oh, there is a membership fee, okay. of course, which depends on the club. Like for us, because your students normally pay 200 per, per, per year. Oh, so wow. 200 bob caters for your membership. But now maybe for institution, for community base, I think 500 depending on that. Yeah. But now if you have projects, because we, we also do contribute at times, mm -hmm. depending on when we have the project or not. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the other ways that we, we use, uh, like we, we try to mobilize resources from other ends as well. If you're able maybe to fundraise through car washing, like just these, way, these small, small things of raising money to getting an extra cash mm -hmm. in that every time you have a project, I don't call on someone to maybe contribute. Maybe you might not be having on the same. Okay. So once we have like a, a club, we have certain amount of money that we normally contribute as a little, little those that we have a project, and maybe some everyone, not everyone is able to contribute. We have something that we can uh, take on to uh, consider uh, doing with the community service as well. Fantastic. Mm. Now let's go. Let's get into into the whole aspect of the club, like in terms of the programs that mm. you guys uh, often facilitate. Because you've mentioned there is, of course, environmental conservation. There is community service. Uh, is there any other program? Which one? The the areas the, the of programs focus. Programs that are run within the club. The programs. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. the programs that I, okay, the core, the core one is community service. That's yes. the core. Okay. I talked about leader, yes. uh, sorry, leadership is also one of them. All right. Mentorship, uh -huh. uh, net networking, having fun, and uh, I think those are the main ones. Now, the, okay, the, the, bit up, the best part of it comes through the projects that we do now. Okay. Yeah, that's where most people get involved now because we do a lot of outdoors activities. Then normally we also don't do just community service. It's like it becomes a family to you. Like anytime I need something, we're able to meet. Maybe we plan, we meet at someone's place. We have fun together, maybe on the weekend after the project. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more of a family. Mm -hmm. Once you guys are together, you guys are built on friendships. It's not only that I'll need you when we need to do a project. Anytime that there is need to do something, we're able to, convert, uh, to, talk, to talk with each other and be able to do more on the same. 
uh, apart from mm. the just creating the family unit, mm. Mm. for someone who's watching this conversation, they would like to understand what are a couple of other benefits of being part of Rot being a Rotaract. Uh, okay, so so uh, other benefits of being a Rotaract are uh, hmm, uh, okay. It it really gives you an exposure mm -hmm. to the outside world as well because I said you are able to meet different types of people, mm -hmm. and also I'll also emphasize on leadership bit. By the most of us, we are not good leaders. More, more so in campus, you join there, you have parties, you have several things that you, th you are looking up towards to doing. And uh, it's, really, uh, it's not really like uh, the same as compared to just a normal university student as well. Then also the opportunities, the networking opportunities. I know people who've gotten uh, jobs through Rotaract, people who've gotten endorsements through Rotaract, people who've gone an extra mile to... Uh, to be recognized as people who are doing good through just through the little things that they do in Rotaract. Mm -hmm. So it's full of, uh, I can't, uh, I can't over exhaust the, the, the benefits. There are mm -hmm. quite many. Yeah, but it really, I think it, it's, it's really some, uh, something good, like uh, a good place for anyone who would like to join on the same because of the numerous benefits and uh, it just makes you to be something outstanding, a global citizen of thought. All right, tell me through the environmental uh, and cons conservation projects that you're working on right now. Okay, uh, so the environmental conservation projects I'm working on right now, uh, I'm, I'm really happy because rains have now uh, returned after a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I said, uh, okay, I work with schools. Uh, this is primary schools, secondary schools, and also universities. Mm -hmm. Then also community, uh, we have with uh, community uh, CFAs, which are community forest associations in different parts of the country. So we encourage the culture of tree planting and tree growing. Uh, we, we, are new, we, we are moving from that notion of just planting trees uh, to going a step further to tend to these trees so that they grow into maturity. So these restoration uh, activities, we do them like, okay, so these are the criteria that we use. For instance, if you are able to do it with school, we are, we are trying to encourage this eco school, like we're encouraging the culture of conservation from a younger age like someone who is in class two, class three, and all that. So we do it under uh, a hashtag, one child, one tree, or adopt a tree. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for instance, if I go in a school, mm -hmm. uh, let's say I have identified we're working with class threes for those people who will be in school. Okay, so basically the problem is, uh, the problem that normally comes in in, in regards to maybe spacing, mm -hmm. the, the location of the school, do we consider that the school has availability of water in that when we plant trees, not just planting, but they will be taken care of? Does the, the school have an out of space or does it, that it doesn't have a space so that we can re, do tree planting on the same? So when we have these children or we have these pupils, they are always very, very curious. And uh, the one thing that I really enjoy working with them, they are always ready to learn, keen on to details. Mm -hmm. They ask questions and it really encourages me. I see that, okay, we, we might we have a bright future in conservation as well. Mm -hmm. So when we work with them, uh, we plant and grow trees. So after planting, we do the follow-ups and the same because now I've, every child has planted a tree. So he or she, through that, we sign like an MOU with the institution. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to plant 200 seedlings. We are going to plant 300 seedlings. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing after every one month, we see the progress on the mm -hmm. same. Because it's an MOU we've signed, mm -hmm. so if in case there is something that comes, and of course maybe at some due to one reason or the other, mm -hmm. the, we won't have the 100 uh, percent percent uh, survival rate. Mm -hmm. But there's a certain percentage, like 80, like at least 80 mm -hmm. percent, let it be successful on the same. And also apart from that, that in regard to restoration through tree planting and tree growing, we also we also do programs for the youths in mm -hmm. conservation, yeah, mm -hmm. in conservation as well. And the good thing why uh, we've worked with several. Uh, those from the uh, informal settlements as well, those maybe in slums and the same because they're also doing some good job in the slums, even though maybe the resources bit can be a problem to them. But uh, uh, th there are certain, uh, certain empowerments programs that we do with them. For instance, uh, something like setting up a tree nursery, mm -hmm. it can be a source of income for them. Oh, yeah. In regards to conservation, but they're also gaining something from mm -hmm. them. In, in regards to uh, uh, the riparian lands, through the we have riparian areas like, for instance, you know, Nairobi River have, have passed several, have cut across several places within Nairobi, several residential places within Nairobi. So you find that we have uh, a section of the river that passes through Madare, mm -hmm. a section that passes through Kariobangi and all that. So within these designated places, we have those grassroots organizations, the, the local, like youths coming together. And most of these youths, the good thing is that once they get into this, because, you know, uh, mostly slums are related to matters, drug abuse, uh, conflicts, uh, 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 robbery, and all the same. So it acts also like a, 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 rehabilit a rehabilit rehabilitation path for them. Like oh, they're able now yeah. to be more involved in something. They find something. And they're more engaged. They're more engaged. Yeah. Youths, by the way, when you bring them together and uh, 
and uh, they, they see there is something that they're able to learn and there's something also, okay, they also the urge to gain because now you also need to pay your bills. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's where we also, also uh, it's a gap that we're also considering. But because these people are very talented, we have graffiti, we have different competitions as well. We write for essays. Mm -hmm. By the way, I also forgot these also essays we write for, uh, there is also that competition whereby you find that if there is a child or someone who has been able to write a good essay or something, he's awarded something. Then there are also projects that are done. So these projects maybe maybe for us as an individual I might not be able to maybe support him or her, mm -hmm. but be able to interlink because it's a network. Oh, yes. When so I see you have a good project, yeah. And also the networking aspect that you mentioned yeah, yeah, yeah. to leadership and development. Leadership development. Well. So maybe there is someone in need of something, but you see at least this some um, uh, he's very, very trying. He's have a very good project. Mm -hmm. So how do we come in? Even though I'm not able to, can I refer him or her to another person or to another person who who, who or she he can get help from? So that's also the another aspect. Then I've also talked about communities as well. We, all, we also encourage those dialogues. We also mm -hmm. encourage those the conversations. We do a lot of cleanup. Then, then okay, for me, the, the, the bold step that I normally, what I like most is working with people. I don't uh, like working alone. Okay. This is why we have several CBOs, several organizations in the space of environmental conservation. Mm -hmm. What if all of us come together, yeah? so that we do something big. Even though you're doing something small on your own, but now mm -hmm. if we come together, imagine the impact that we can create on the same. Mm -hmm. Then you're also able to network. I'm able to get ideas from you. You're able to get ideas from me because, you know, once two or three people are together, the way you see things is not the way I see things. I see them in different perspective. You see them in the different perspective. So we're able to harmonize. We're able to mobilize resources and do the same. Uh, yeah. That's uh, in regard to also cleanups. Also, I do activism. Mm -hmm. Activist, I'm an activist uh, for conservation stuff and also issues human rights so at times we go to the, we go to the streets mm -hmm. not to riot like a protest uh, with violence no it's just like we, we organize for a walk a march of sort uh, awareness like uh, i think on friday if you maybe you heard we had this program called fridays for future mm -hmm. whereby like uh, young people young activists they are just trying to air in their views for okay you've heard about cop 26 all mm -hmm. that you know most of the pledges are made there Maybe, oh, oh, we are going to cut the emission by this year. We are going to release funds for climate finance and all the same. But most of the times you find these are always, uh, they say so, but they don't do. They don't the, action do. Bit, uh, uh, the action bit is not met. So like we are trying to remind, okay, you are telling us, you are making us too much of ambitious for nothing. But at the end of the day, we are going to talk about the very, very same problem. Can you really act now? Are you able, so we normally have some, uh, certain placards with different information about environment, what we are demanding for, and uh, we, it's, 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 our, it's our right. I, I know environmental right is a, a human right. So it's human all a peaceful right. initiative. A peaceful and, uh, initiative. And, the, and works of and, creating yeah, awareness. Yeah, yeah, and works of creating awareness. Uh, and uh, the other day, yeah, the other day you are from Waraka to uh, up to around Babadogo. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and people, we had a massive turnout. Imagine an event planned in uh, less than two days. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we have done it in uh, one week or something. Mm -hmm. But people really turned out. People really listened to us. Uh, if, uh, we also do a lot of petitions as well because now uh, there are some things that may be over us, but through petitions and through maybe getting to, to the uh, uh, a strat uh, a way, there is a way we are able to reach out to maybe the policy maker. That's also something you're working on. Because there are some, pe some things by the way we can't, even though we make noise about them, but unless there is someone, okay, there is a policy makers, they make good policies and they're implemented, mm -hmm. is when this one can be successful. But we choose not to, we choose not to be quiet about things that really matter to us. We choose, not, we choose to, to, like... And that's why you guys do the works. And yeah, 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 so yeah, you so, speak, uh, yeah. What you're, telling, what you're telling me, Lamek, is that uh, also when it, you touch on something very important, on the youth being engaged in this particular uh, community service, yeah, sure. leadership and development, mm -hmm. there's an angle that you brought in, quite very important, that you can actually, there's a creation of job in yeah. this particular space sure, as sure, well. Sure. Mm -hmm. So uh, from your experience and also interaction, are there sustainable business that young people are running that which, who are actually Rotaracts? Rotaract or, or any 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 of the groups that we've worked with? Any of the groups that you've worked with? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I talked about this. Then there's there's one that I really like. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a recycling project. Uh, these young people are based in Kibra. Uh, so you find that most of the times we collect this trash, we collect this bottle and the same. So these people really came up with a very, very good idea whereby they are making a lot of good, good things through the recycled bottles. Mm. And they are gaining and they are able to sell them. It's also like an exhibition for them whenever they have event. They're able to get endorsements as well. And there are, there are also those who do a lot of, uh, uh, okay, there are those who've also engaged into farming. Like 
the, this aspect, I'm not sure if you've heard about it, kitchen gardening. Like you find in an area, an area like Nairobi, we have a small, small space. Oh, you, yes, yeah. and you just can do it on your backyard. Yeah, on your backyard. Right. And through this, you're able to get something for yourself. You're able to reach out to another person. I think when COVID hit, mm -hmm. we were able to work with around seven children's homes within Nairobi, mm -hmm. setting up the kitchen gardens. And two years later, the project is still continuing. The project is still continuing. Even though they might not get donors and all the time, but at least they have vegetable, mm -hmm. they can able to, to, uh, to feed on that. But if also they are able to sell because it comes into surplus as well. And uh, for Otaractors, because now we're also in the different spaces, like uh, someone might be in IT, someone might be in a different field on the same, but because of this network now, you're able to be mentored on the same. You're able to get someone from another field I'm um, interested in pursuing this, so mm -hmm. which is the direction should I take? And also within Rotary, because I believe we are family, because we are a family, and uh, not all of us may be better off as well, you might find that as long as we are trying to give back, there is one of us who maybe has a problem or something. Okay. So how do we, charity begins at home, mm -hmm. how do we come in through for him or her? That's the first question we All ask right. ourselves. All right. So allow me to take you back. Uh, mm -hmm. There's something you, you mentioned that you work with students or also uh, different schools yeah, as yeah, well. Sure. And I would like to understand when you're working with the young kids, because you're building up a, a mental muscles whereby mm -hmm. now you're creating the aspect of giving back to the society. And yes. this is, these are young kids, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, what is, when you're looking, looking back with working with these young people, signing MOU as well, mm -hmm. uh, what excites you? What makes you happy? through that process. Uh, what makes me happy, first of all, the curiosity of the kids are really amazing. Mm -hmm. These people are ready, ready to learn. And by the way, when you go, okay, we also, we've also have conflicts within them. Like for instance, you've said we are going to plant 100 trees. Mm -hmm. You find a school has a, a population of around 900 people, 900 pupils. So what about the 800 others? Yeah, they also want to do the same, but now because of the different reasons, you're not able to do the 900. First of all, the issue of space, the issue of water and all the same. So what makes me uh, and keeps me going is that curiosity of the kids and the, they, they are always ready to learn and also for the support. By the, there are some schools that you'll go and uh, request for the same, but you told no. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's a good idea, but for us here is a no. They have their own reasons and you can't force. But given that the school has given you that opportunity and you're able to sign an MOU, my, the best thing that I really look up to is the, 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 now this, the final results or the progress. Mm -hmm. Once I've done something and I'm seeing there's a progress, it mm -hmm. keeps me going. It, it makes me see, uh, see myself like, okay, I'm doing something that is really impactful. And also, it also encourages uh, as young, uh, as long as these kids are very young, it also opens them their mentality, okay, so there's something I can do apart from just studies, there's something I can do maybe even back at home. Mm -hmm. We also encourage them, okay, not even that we are planting only in schools, but try at home. Eh? Don't, don't overthrow your litter away. We have, okay, we also, at, at, at sometimes we also set up the beans as well, mm -hmm. if you're able to. For just for the good so collection, it's a go green initiative. yeah, go green initiative. Everything yes. green that we are able to do as yeah. at now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not all, but anything that we are able to, according to our capacity, mm -hmm. it's a go green and it's uh, the eco schooling program, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what are a couple of challenges that you're facing when it comes to environmental conservation? Okay, so first we have diff several of them. <laughs> there are so many. I know. So so many. Mm -hmm. First of all, as I said, resources. Yes. I'm not working, I'm a student, mm -hmm. maybe I'm not, I don't have a stable source of income and I want to do the project. And that's a very key issue. So yeah. how do you even uh, uh, finance the whole movement and the projects as well? Okay, first of all, I told you, uh, okay. Before on air. <laughs> we took a live. Yes, alive. we are. Okay, uh, the first thing I told you is that um, we come, uh, okay, it's a network yes. for those people in the space. Mm -hmm. And we, we, when we have networks, mm -hmm. we're able to do more. So uh, mo most of the times by there, a, a lot of what we do is in voluntary basis. Yes. Sometimes we ask our, 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 our members to contribute, mm -hmm. but if it's, a, it's a, again, okay, it's, it's above us, we're able now to maybe mobilize other people. Mm -hmm. But some people have, have really been kind enough to us in regards to conservation bit. Mm -hmm. Some people really, like KFS, uh, donate seedlings at times. Seedlings is really important. Then we have Meet Alliance and I have one of the person whom I look up to in regards to conservation mm -hmm. who introduced me is someone called Michael Wayaki. He's mm -hmm. from Meet Alliance. He really does some good job. He has a tree nursery. He encourages the culture of conservation as well. Uh, so it's, it's a bit of a challenge in, in regards to resources and also maybe there are times you approach partners, maybe those who, who you might have thought they would have been able to uh, help you, but in one way or the other, they're not able to do so. Mm -hmm. the, the, you are able, you, are, you, you become so much, or, 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 you are ambitious that you will help, but they d disappoint you. So you find a way on which you can do that. But uh, personally to say we don't have like 
this is the person that we are actually looking up to in regard to the resources that we need for conservation. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it entails writing proposals, mm -hmm. it entails coming together, but most of the times we, we just try as li the little that we have, even if it's, it means contributing 100, 100 for us, maybe for cater for the refreshments, away, to cater for maybe for the activities of the day that mm -hmm. we're able to do that. So first of all, is in regard to resources. Mm -hmm. The second one is the, the culture that I told you, the, the mindset of the, the people. Mindset, okay. The people's mindset are that, okay, why should I do this? Is this really my role to do the conservation bit? Are there no, uh, what is the work of NEMA? Mm. What is the work of KFS? Why am I entering into their job? Why, why, why are they going to pay me? So this mindset have been really refusing something. Refusing to be responsible. Yeah, refusing to be very responsible. Mm. You are trying as much as you are able to, but you, people are really discouraging you. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, if you are doing a cleanup, people may end up calling you a uh, takataka nini, like, mm -hmm. okay. For you, you know you are not that way. You are trying to do something, but for other person, you might not, might not see it the same. So there's aspect of mind uh, the, mindset. the mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, also by there, working with young people, young people don't consider issue the environment to be fashionable. They look it at like, ah, that's something old age. Ah, conservation, why mm -hmm. should I even do that? Mm -hmm. uh, I plant trees, why, why should I bother on the same? Mm -hmm. That's also another challenge. Another one, uh, another challenge in regards to that is also at the, as I said, there are some things that are above us, the policy, like there are some things that need to be policy makers, the lawmakers, they need to pass th these agreements so that it can, it can ease in our work, so that not every time we'll be going on the streets to, uh, to talk about this, not every time we'll be going on the streets to air our views, but they're able to also harmonize us on the same. Mm -hmm. So that's also another, another challenge you're facing. And also uh, the support itself, by the way, we don't get a lot of support at times from the government. I, I, I say the government have really tried its bit by the uh, with the issue of 10% uh, forest cover, which is really, really a good initiative, and uh, we have several success stories, but we are still not yet there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We need the support from them, we need the support from the corporates, we need the support from everyone, so that we can harmonize everything and be able to do more. So there are quite a number of challenges, mm -hmm. but those are the main ones that we are facing as at now. Mm -hmm. But we are, really, we, we are not giving up soon, we are still continuing to do it the same. Absolutely. Until we reach there, we are, the, ho the hope is not yet lost, and mm -hmm. we believe that one day everything will be okay. My worry is for the next generation. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm enjoying all these benefits. What about them? Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, There's uh, there this joke that says maybe uh, some few years to come, mm -hmm. the only uh, lion or the only, okay, the kids or our great great grandchildren will only see them on books. But for us, we've enjoyed seeing them there. Are we using the, the resources we have right now sustainably, giving in mind that 10 years from now, there's someone who will be here? Will he or she enjoy the same benefits? So that's that's my main worry. Oh, like we are doing it for ourselves, yeah. and also for the next generation. And that I, explains why environmental conservation. Why is conservation? Very yeah, why conservation to that yeah. extent? Yeah. So for someone, as we wind up, for someone yeah. who's watching this conversation, and they would like to partner with Lamek, or even yeah. get to work with you, or even be part of Rotary Club, how can they reach out to you? Thank you. So I'm quite vocal on social media, not that much, mm -hmm. but uh, on all my social media platforms, you can find me at Lamek Lamak. Mm -hmm. If you go on my wall, it matters conservation. I think most of you are, in, most I've met uh, a lot of people through that because they are inspired by the work that I do. So kindly feel free to reach out to, to me. You can get uh, in touch together. I have the, my contact details are there. And there's also a, a link that you can, uh, when, when you click on it, you're able to get in touch directly with me. So each and everyone out there, okay, this is, I, I have a message, mm -hmm. but before that, Maybe you can, uh, you can allow me to say something. Okay. Uh, so fortunately, or uh, through good luck, I mm -hmm. got to be nominated as a Climate Change Voice of the Year Award. It's a worldwide uh, recognition. Oh, congratulations. Uh, thank you. And uh, it's on We Naturally. So this is like a platform for uh -huh. people who are, doing, who, who are making a difference in regards to conservation. Fantastic. So I, was, I got an opportunity to be nominated. Mm -hmm. I think we have like two or three more Kenyans over there. We have other people from different parts of the world. We have Uganda. We have... Uh, India and all that, Asia and all the same. Mm -hmm. So basically it's an award that recognizes someone who is making a difference in the community in regards to conservation, he's mm -hmm. trying to air his views, he's trying to reach out to the people. So you guys can also vote for me. Yeah, you can vote for me. The voting only takes at least maximum two minutes. Apo sasa kwa voting. Tunataka kukusupport. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Tunasupport yes. mtu wa kwetu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So sure. what is the voting process? Yeah. How do you go about it? Tuela the two. So, your so the voting process takes yes. uh, it's this way. Uh -huh. There is a link. Oh, okay. Sorry, there is a link. Or you just visit We Naturalists. It's it's an app. It's an app you can install, but What's it's the name not of a the must. App? 
Oh. We naturalist. Oh, we, we naturalist. It's a one word. We, okay. we naturalist. Got it. Just like the, it's it's a it's a platform for people who are passionate about environment and they are doing something. Yes. Like so once you get into the app, mm -hmm. you'll be you'll be expected maybe to have a, a, an account, of course. You can sign in, then you send you been you, you sent a verification on your email. Mm -hmm. So once you click on it, then there's a direct link that I normally share that now goes directly towards voting to me. So once oh, there's, you, an, there's another way you can do it. There's a link you can share. Yeah, I just share the link, then you go vote directly. So can we get it on your social media? Yes, link? yes, sure, sure, sure. You'll get okay. my I, I, I'll attach it to my bio on Instagram oh, and also right, the other ones. Yeah. Right, so. But so far I've shared it in most of the platforms. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So, so I really appreciate you guys if you support me on the same. Uh, we're able to bring this home. We're able to do more impactful projects. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to partnering with anyone from any part of the country. Hopefully to, because I said I can't do it alone. We can do it all together. When we come together, we're able to do more. We're able to make a difference. And it's my responsibility, your responsibility, and all of us, we have that responsibility to conserve the environment. We have that responsibility to look, uh, to, to take care of our neighbors, to reach out a hand of help wherever need be, if you're able to. And you also have, you have the opportunity to be part of Rotaract and Rotary. Very Become honest. part of the, the great leaders who are making moves Hi, in this community convinced. as well. You yeah. have our votes. Okay, Karubini, <laughs> you're most welcome. <laughs> we are convinced you have our votes. Yes, yes, so yes, yes. Me, uh, yeah. what, would you, what would it mean for you to win this award? So first of all, uh, I think it's cash award is uh, it's one thousand dollars, which I think when we, we talk with hundred, it's about hundred thousand. Yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, hundred thousand. So most of the projects by there I do, I don't have any source of funding. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to scaling up what we do and also maybe starting something sustainable, not just for anyone, also for myself as well. But but okay, the main idea behind this award is for me, I'm, I'm based on impact mm -hmm. impact as well. I want to I want to scale up the conserv the conversation the, about conservation as well. Mm -hmm. I want to continue doing a lot of restoration activities, mm -hmm. a lot of environmental conservation activities. So it will really mean a lot to me, and it will really mean not to me, but my group, the people whom I work with. Mm -hmm. We are able now to one one way or the other, we are able now to uh, have something that we mm -hmm. can look up to, look up to, and I also work. To, uh, to work, work with it, yeah, work with it uh, sustainably, mm -hmm. and uh, scale up a lot of our, our activities on the same as well. There you have it, Lamy. Yeah. You have our votes, and thank I'm you sure so much. Also, mm -hmm. our viewers have had you, and definitely they're going to uh, equally vote for you. You say yeah, sure, you will sure. uh, link it to your bio. Yeah, I'll link it to my bio. Then, yeah, you guys can What's vote your for Instagram me. Instagram handle again? Okay, all social media platform Lame Klamak. Lamek Lamak. One word, yeah. There you have it. Lamek Lamak on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, everywhere. The hummingbird. The hummingbird. <laughs> uh, it's a story by there I will share another day, the story of the hummingbird. That yes. one of the story that keeps me going. Okay. It keeps me going because um, it reminds me that I, have, I can make a difference. Fantastic. No matter how little it might seem, yes. but collectively when we partner with other people, is we're able to make it. Of, uh, Magre, uh, yes, the story that Wangari Madai Wang talked Wangari about. Madai. Yeah. Where there's, okay, let me share a little bit about it. So yeah, it's, real it's quick. yeah, real quick. So there's this forest that is on fire. Yeah. And now because there is fire, we have different animals. We have different uh, wildlife, uh, giraffes. Uh, sorry, giraffes. We have the uh, antelopes and all that. They are running for safety. Then there's this little hummingbird that says, "No, I'm not going to see this forest rain uh, into fire. I'm yes. going to do something." So it rushes the next stream, drop of water, drop of drop water, of drop of water. water as fast as it can. Yeah. But now the lion asks, okay, so what are, you, what are you trying to do? Do you think that the, the drop of water will try to uh, put on the, off the fire? But the hummingbird says, I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. Imagine if the rest of the other, and other wildlife have jo would have joined it in doing the same. The impact. The same thing the same with impact. us as the humans. Same, if yeah. we all, all, all of us do our part. If you do your, the your yeah. You are beat wherever you are. I do my beat collectively. Yes. It makes a huge difference. There guys. you have it. The hummingbird Thank you so story. Much. Thank you very much, Lamek. Uh, hope you for creating time to be with us and talking about the importance of environmental conservation and also the Rotary Club as a whole. We appreciate you and we wish you all the best when it comes to the winning award. You have our votes. That Thank is you so much. Bet. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you so much for having me. And we should normalize the gospel of conservation. Sawa, sawa. There you have thank it. Thank you so much. Yes. So, guys, back at home, make sure you keep the conversation going at Y254 channel. At Michelle Lashira is where you can find me across all my social. We'll be right back with so much by Yoni Entrepreneurship Tuesday.